Saturday. A nice, quiet Saturday. But you know something? It's always quiet out here because I live out in the middle of nowhere. So uh, it's uh, always quiet. And that's one thing when we first moved out here, I had to get used to was quiet. Because um, I was in the big city with a bunch of noise and trucks going by and garbage trucks going by, ambulance, fire trucks, every five minutes. Um, craziness. And I was used to that, though. Because that's the way I grew up, you know, in the big city, uh, in the Dallas area. So uh, I grew up deep in the heart of Dallas. So um, you can't get no cityer than that. But anyway, um, I decided to come out here on my patio and just kind of chill a little bit. It's not too hot. You know, I got I got shade, you know, uh, just bought some new patio furniture, you know, about to put put it to use, I guess. And about a month back and uh the only thing living out here though um in the suburbs in the middle of nowhere the country whatever you want to call it is uh the wasps and flies are more aggressive they don't care they'll attack your ass you know what i mean they're like <laughs> in the city you know you play outside as a kid all day long you know you had wasps and stuff like that but they weren't aggressive as they are now. Y'all see, I got this Frisbee. I get to pop that. If they come, in, you know, while I'm doing a video, I'm going to pop the shit out there. But anyway, guys, um, it was, it, I thought it was a rumor. But I waited a little bit just to make sure. Uh, Kicker Kai Forbath was released, was cut, was waived today. Uh, so much for a kicking competition in training camp. Uh, we only had two kickers, uh, uh, Zerline and Forbath. That was it. And I thought that was a that was going to be a really good com competitive competition for the number one kicker spot. But um, I guess they're trying to cut down the roster and they only want one kicker or whatever. Uh, which is unbelievable because the last three games we, we signed Forbath of last season. He was 10 for 10. He was automatic. And we haven't had it in a while. You know, so uh, we had, we struggled with kickers you know, for the past five years, maybe, maybe longer. Uh, no, they'll start off good, but then they'll start getting inconsistent. Um, you remember when we had, I think we had, uh, who was that that had the growing injury? Was it Bailey? I think he had the growing injury, and he just wasn't the same after that. And um, uh, our safety came in and kicked some damn field goals. Remember that guy? I think it was the 49er game. And, uh, it was crazy, man. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, Kai Forbat released. Zerline is the number one now. Now, on paper, Zerline looked better because he had more experience. And he also, there's always a, 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 a there's always a catch. See, there go one right there. I'm going to pop. See? Y'all didn't see him, but I did. But uh, there's always a catch. Um, it's all about who you know. But that's understandable because our new special teams coach, um, Coach Forbath with the Rams. What was his name? Fossil. He coached Forbath, you know, a couple of years ago with the Rams. So um, I guess he knows him, so he might as well bring him on board. You know, obviously, you know, we signed Forbath. I mean, we signed uh, Zerline about two days after we re-signed Forbath. So, no, that there was something fishy going on right then and there. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all I got, man, for right now. Just, I'm in relax mode. I just wanted to come out here and run my mouth and buy something and enjoy the weather because it's not too hot. Uh, unbelievably, it's been like really, really hot outside. I got up this morning, I cut the yard, and um, I got up early this morning and did that and got that out the way. And um, you know, it, we had a little cold front come through. And uh, it was probably like 70-something degrees this morning, high 70s, low 80s. And it was comfortable. Right now, it's probably like high 80s, which is warm, but it's not that bad. It's doable. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to come, kind of run my mouth a little bit about something about Cowboys. And, uh, yeah, Kai Forbath has been released. And Greg Zerline is the man now. 
I don't know too much about him. I know he did pretty good with the Rams, and he has a history. Uh, he has a better percentage, I believe. But I just thought that maybe the Dallas Cowboys was, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. And uh, but I understand that you got to You got to have a, a a decent kick. They got to bring a kicker in though. They got to sign somebody to make it some kind of battle, you know. And I th I thought they would keep four bats for that, but they had other plans. So, but that's the update, guys. Uh, I know it's not who cares about a kicker, but y'all know how important a kicker is from last uh from um before four bath pretty much <laughs> uh we haven't had a consistent guy in a while so um and we had that was that four bad that was who was that kicker that could make the long ones but not the short ones i can't remember was that i think that was was that four bad or was it the guy before him i think it was the guy before i forgot his name shit i don't know but um yeah, I'm a little embarrassed, but I forgot his name. But he, he would make the 80, 90-yard field goals, but he would miss the chip shots. And I just didn't understand that. That was really weird. But um, a kicker is very important. Special teams are very important. Um, you know, having to uh, score a touchdown and, you know, having your kicker be automatic is is a big plus. Because I remember back in the day, Chris Bonyol, you – you, Emmitt Smith will score, Irvin will score, Cowboys will score, and, you know, you know, you didn't even have to watch. You could go get a drink of water or, or some soda or some more chicken wings if they're left over, and uh, you didn't even have to watch. It was automatic. Uh, now it's like, ooh, you're cringing, like, ooh, is he going to make that field goal? Uh, you know, it's almost like. It's almost like when the when the quarterback from the other team throws the ball in, 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 on Cheeto's side, and you're like, "Oh, Cheeto, Cheeto, please, 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 no!" It's kind of like that, you know. <laughs> or Byron Jones, please, uh, you know. So, um, but that's another topic. Y'all know how I, I get real personal with that. But anyway, guys, that's all I got, man. Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up, because you never know. What the day is gonna bring you. Ask Kai Forbin. How about his boy? Come out.